When I see what you are doing with IX Den in cybersecurity, I'm very excited to have the opportunity to talk with you. Thanks, Frank. I, I appreciate you having me this morning. Ground on yourself and a little bit on IX Den. Okay. So uh, I, I've been in sales leadership roles um, in technology companies for approximately 20 years now. And my experience and expertise include uh, asset performance management, uh, predictive maintenance, uh, planning and scheduling, uh, identity mm -hmm. management, and, and now cybersecurity. So uh, over those last two decades, uh, I've uh, primarily ser serviced the oil and gas industry, uh, chemicals, uh, power gen, and, and public utilities, as well as uh, universities and colleges. I'm originally from the state of Georgia. Uh, I received my undergraduate degree uh, from the University of Georgia, and now I live in Houston uh, with my beautiful wife and two kids. So uh, a, a little bit about uh, IX Den. I IX Den is a fairly new company uh, that was founded in 2018, and it's based out of Israel. Uh, we are a, an OT failure prediction and cybersecurity software company. Uh, the roots of the company uh, come from financial tech. So our founders come from financial tech, um, specifically cybersecurity, uh, where they service the, the, some of the largest banks in the world uh, to prevent uh, fraud detection. Um, we have patents uh, based on biometric device, IoT, uh, and multi-factor authentication for industrial equipment. So you've been in, how long have you been at IXDEN? So I've been in IXDEN for approximately 90 days, three months. Oh, great. Good start. Yeah. It, seems, it, it seems with your background, getting into water is fairly natural for you. It is. It is. Cybersecurity. Yeah, yeah I, I've spent a lot of time in the process industries uh, and uh, uh, specifically in oil and gas. And uh, you can imagine the critical inf infrastructure uh, and their critical equipment. Uh, that's necessary uh, in, in that industry. And it is a, a, a good to be in water now, uh, as everyone is well aware, uh, is critical. Uh, and we need to be able to uh, provide clean, safe drinking water for everyone in a timely manner. And so um, that is um, you know, evident in what we're trying to accomplish um, uh, and assist um, our customers. Uh, specifically, we um, we work with the state-owned uh, or uh, operating company in Israel, uh, the water company Makarot, uh, and we've been doing that for the last three years. Uh, and so we've learned a heck of a lot about the uh, water industry uh, by, by working with them. And so now we're really trying to tackle the U.S. market and, and get to know everyone here uh, and really get our name out there so people know what we do and how we can help. How are you finding the awareness in the water market, utilities and so forth, about the need for cybersecurity? How are you finding that? Well, I, you know, I think it's driven by regulation right now. Uh, and, and, and um, you know, there's some, there's some other uh, areas uh, where uh, a public utility has, has, has completely uh, derailed uh, services for uh, for people around the U.S. and so the the awareness is there, uh, and I think it's more around the education of what's out there. There's a lot of over, overlapping technology uh, around mm -hmm. cybersecurity, and so what we're really trying to do now is educate the market on what we do and how we can fit it into an ecosystem, uh, a current ecosystem, uh, and, and and these customer bases uh, where they can really understand how we can uh, ensure that um, they uh, aren't going to have any kind of data manipulation, injection, uh, any kind of uh, uh, software or hardware tampering. Uh, and if they do, we're able to alert them immediately that this is taking place so they can take action. How intrusive is the installation? Oh, it's, um, not, it, it, it's not intrusive. Um, and that, that's a good question. So uh, the uh, installation um, is there, there's really two two types of uh, deployments uh, at IXTEN. One is the agent approach where we install agents on the controllers. Uh, and the other uh, is an agentless approach where we are tapping into 
an existing data source like an historian or DCS or SCADA system where we're pulling the information. Uh, in terms of, of uh, it running, it's running autonomously. Uh, it's, so there's no human intervention that's needed. Uh, and so it's on the uh, on premise. Uh, we're not a cloud product. Um, there's, you know, a lot of questions about uh, uh, passing information uh, and making sure things are airtight. So it's installed on a server uh, at a customer's location. Hmm. So give us an example or two of the kind of impact that Ixden, IXDEN has had on the customer. So one, one specific example, and I, I mentioned Mekarot earlier, uh, again, it's the national water company in Israel. So they were really, really trying to improve data visibility and access. And so they were trying, and their main goal was to achieve full visibility of all the raw data generated by their system. And so they wanted to use that data to analyze in real time to detect sensor drip, failure of pumps, engines, or look at any malicious attempts or that compromise data. All right. mm -hmm. The challenge there uh, was just, just the scale. There was 5,000 PLCs, there's mm -hmm. 3,000 remote terminal units. And so you can imagine that, that monitoring all this data generated by the system is cumbersome and it's difficult for uh, you know, a number of people to, to be able to do. So currently MacRot has uh, about 1.4 million uh, sensor indicators uh, that are propagated to the SCADA control system. And there's millions of, of sensor parameters and data points that uh, are used locally, uh, but they're not propagated upwards. So MacRot knew that there was a wealth of information in this data, but had no way of monitoring it on a consistent basis and assessing whether or not the, the data was actually, you know, good data. So they, they did a, a attempt and had an internal project to try to get their hands on much of this data. Uh, and so they, they changed settings on hundreds of controllers um, to send more data to the SCADA. Uh, and they built scenarios and set measurement thresholds uh, based on this data. Um, and so this pr pr proved just too time consuming and only really yielded partial data visibility. And it wasn't a, 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 a good solution to be able to scale uh, throughout the organization. So this is where we came in. Uh, Mechanrod partnered with us uh, to provide them a uh, all-in-one solution for failure prediction and cybersecurity. So, you know, initially we were brought in to provide cybersecurity down to the edge um, of the OT network. Um, then we moved uh, on in a, uh, a phase approach that, that now also helps them optimize their operations to predict and, and schedule maintenance activities. Mm -hmm. And uh, due to, you know, the quick ROI that we were able to provide, uh, Mechrot uh, started rolling this out um, to their desalination sites, and they're using the software now to predict when equipment needs to be replaced. Mm -hmm. So um, in, in a couple of cases, we've been able to predict 60 days in advance uh, potential failures, and that saved MECROT millions uh, in, 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 you know, in maintenance uh, uh, costs. Uh, and the system is also being used 24-7 to monitor cyber threats. So you've been there a short period of time, but you certainly went probably went through a fairly extensive interview and discovery process as yep. you probably, you know, they sought you out to take this position. So in your short period of time, what pleasant surprises have you had in, in your role? Yeah, this isn't, uh, and, and so I, you know, obviously I did go through an extensive um, interview process being their first US hire. Uh, they wanted to ensure that, uh, one, they were making a, a good uh, resource decision on, on their part, yeah. and vice versa, I wanted to make sure that there was good technology. Um, this isn't my first rodeo working for um, growth stage technology companies. Uh, and so the, the, the really the, the surprise that, that uh, I had coming in uh, that really, really um, 
I, I swayed my decision to come join the company was this company does, you know, it kills two birds with one stone. So we're very unique in the industry. So, and in, 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 I guess in my um, uh, investigative work and figuring out, uh, you know, what's out there and doing some market research, we're the only vendor that provides cybersecurity and OT failure prediction into one platform. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was, an extra, you know, a pleasant surprise. And it's easier to have a conversation uh, with companies where you not only protect, you know, the critical infrastructure, uh, both from an operational standpoint, but from a cyber uh, threat standpoint. So that's that was the pleasant surprise for me. So you're beginning to an early stage, you're beginning to establish a relationship with Global Waterworks. Yep. Plenty of organizations out there, and certainly you've probably taken a good look at us. Why Global Waterworks? What do you see as the value of Global Waterworks to you and IX Den? So IX Den's mission is to become a standard in the water industry. Um, and it takes a long time to get there. And so we um, are interested in partnering with the, um, the organizations and um, you know, companies that are out there that are, are really at the forefront of um, really sharing with the industry game-changing technology. So in our, in our view and opinion, uh, the best conduit uh, between game-changing technology companies like iExtend and the water industry is Global Waterworks. And we certainly work hard at it. And, you know, Mary started the, started the organization. I joined her three years ago, but she's very familiar early on in her, um, in her water career. She worked very closely with Israel um, and we still have very, very strong relationships there. So that's um, it, certainly we're happy to be associated with you. So back to you, and I know you're, once again, you've only been there a short period of time, but what do you see for, for the U.S. market for IX Den over the next eh, maybe 12 to 18 months? Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a good question. So I guess I'll, I'll take a step back in time before uh, looking into the future. So, you know, as everyone in the water industry is aware, um, you know, Israel was in a water crisis. Uh, for the last decade uh, due to climate, uh, water scarcity, and the infrastructure. Yeah. And, you know, with Makarot uh, uh, and, and Israel, um, they were forward thinking, uh, had some ingenuity uh, and partnerships with companies like ourselves. Um, they became one of the leaders in smart water initiatives in the world. So, you know, we, we've been able to help Makarot tremendously uh, and our vision is to share our story uh, and what, we're, what we want to do in the next 12, 18 months is for everyone uh, to know who we are and what we do, mm -hmm. right? And so it's, it's, the goal is to get the momentum going here in the next 12, 18 months to educate uh, the industry on us and how we can help smart water initiatives. Mm -hmm. um, it, you know, and certainly what you're doing both in, um, pre-maintenance prediction, prediction and in cybersecurity, <clears throat> one is certainly um, a clear ROI in preventive maintenance prediction. Yep. And the other is that insurance policy, so to speak, yep. that which has a significant ROI because a breach, as we know, is so, so, uh, expensive, not only financially, but to the uh, personality and to the reputation of a company. So we look forward to working with you. Um, enjoyed the brief relationship so far that you had an opportunity to meet with Mary and myself. And, and Patrick, I thank you for taking the time this morning to uh, meet with me. We look forward to partnering with Global Waterworks and, and look, look forward to uh, getting more engaged in, in some events and webinars and and uh, you know, meeting all the, the uh, uh, rest of the, the companies and members of, of the community.